Hi there, and welcome to Fresh Steps. My name is Janice Joseph, and I'm a behavior consultant and a parenting coach. So what I do is I work with families who have children with um, behavioral challenges and special needs. I develop behavioral plans for the children, and then I hand the behavioral plans to the one-on-one -on -one worker, and they implement the work with the child. What I wanted to talk today about was the impact of food um, to a child's behavior. And I get this question numerous times from parents. They come and say that their kids are just, they're acting out, they're having a tough time focusing in school, um, and in home, they're, they're just not knowing how to, um, how to work with the behaviors of these kids. The, the one thing that I do tell all of my parents is that nutrition does run hand in hand with their kids. Uh, it's, like it's, it's their fuel. It's like putting premium gas in your car. You wanna put premium food into your child so that they run properly. The picture, the visual that I like to give most of my families is the hamster on a wheel. These kids are in constant motion. They are moving there. Even when they're sitting still, they're moving, right? Their, their hands are moving, they're, they're tapping with a pencil. Everything about them is moving. So they're burning so much of their metabolism by movement. They're constantly burning metabolism faster than their peers are burning their metabolism. So what your child is needing is that, that high protein, that in the morning when they get up like these are the kids that that parents say they're really grumpy in the morning well they're hangry in the morning because they've run a marathon during night their their sheets are all messed up they've been going they've been moving turning and tossing all night long they're hungry when they get up in the morning so super important what you're putting into your child in the morning they're um, the child that they need that whole wheat toast they need the peanut butter on it they need avocado toast they need um, a boiled egg, a scrambled egg, a fried egg, anything, any protein that you can get into your child, a protein shake to get them um, through that morning and get them settled. When these children, what we found is when their um, blood sugar drops, their behaviors, their anxieties, they will escalate and you will see that in them. I've had families where I've asked them to keep, keep, a, um, keep score almost and keep tabs of what their children are eating throughout the day and when their behaviors are spiking, kind of take a tally and think, what have they eaten today? Have they eaten today? And, and has it been something that's going to help them um, throughout the day to maintain their metabolism? These kids need um, more than just the three meals a day and the snacks in between. These kids are needing a snack in between their snack um, just to keep them going because they are burning. They're burning, they're burning, they're running it off so much. So what is important is what you're packing for your child's lunch. And that's what we wanna talk about next. So I've placed a few different foods here, um, lunch snacks for kids. And the game we're going to play is called, am I a treat or am I a snack? So we're gonna go one by one and go through some of the foods that I have placed here that should be in your child's lunch when they're going to school. This is what's gonna give them the, the best day that they can have at school. Um, so first of all, let me say, I am not a Pinterest parent, nor do you need to be a Pinterest parent. Nobody needs to be a Pinterest parent to get a great lunch put together for their kids. They're super easy and super quick. And if you have everything cut up and prepped, your kids can make your own lunches. They can make their own lunches. So this here, like look in here, all we have is meat and cheese in here and some fruit. How great is that? Kids are grazers. They don't need a big sandwich. Like some of them like that, some kids like to graze on things. So if this is what they have with a little bit of guacamole in their lunch with some, if you don't wanna put chips in there, these are corn chips. These are awesome chips for your kids. And they just dip that, they've got their protein from the guacamole. Okay, we have also plantain chips. These are a snack. These are great for your kids. This is a great snack for them to have. Almonds, really great. Almonds and peanuts. Perfect protein snack for your kids. If you have a school that doesn't um, that has the, the rule that there's no peanuts allowed, that's okay because guess what we have? 
we have soy nuts. Soy nuts are crunchy, they're salty, and they get the protein into the kids. This is what they need to have. Little tiny Ziploc bags like this in your home, in your car. When you pick your kids up from school, you see their face, you know that they're not doing well. Have this in your car, throw them a snack, get them out of that hangry phase. Maybe they haven't finished their lunch so they can graze on this on the way home. Perfect. Pepperoni, they're not spicy. You can get turkey ones. You can get, um, what are they that everyone's doing now? The, um, the vegetarian ones. They're great for kids. Perfect, that's gonna hold them out through the day. Protein, some meat in there, awesome. Awesome, have some meat, great snack. Roll up their, um, their deli meats, right? Roll up some ham. They think it's fun, they're kids, they'll eat it. This is a great snack for them. That's what they wanna have in their lunch. Let me tell you about these little things. I don't have them in the package because I don't want to do any product placement. These are called snacks with fruit. They have no fruit. It's sugar. This is a candy. This is a candy that your kids don't need in their lunch. They go along with, where's the other one that I have here? With this, this rolled up fruit. It's not rolled up fruit. It's candy, it's sugar. These have so much sugar in them for your kids. At recess time, this is not what your child needs to be snacking on. This is not a snack, this is a treat. This is a treat for home. This is a treat for maybe having a movie night at home, um, maybe just grabbing something because they're not hungry, they're, they're just a little bit peckish, but this is not a snack for they have that light at recess time. This does nothing nutritionally for your child. It doesn't help them, it doesn't boost their protein, it doesn't boost their, their focus. It doesn't, this is not, not something, I'm just, you get what I'm saying. They don't need this. They don't need this at school. These are treats, and these are treats that should be kept at home, not treats that are brought to school. They don't need that. It does nothing for them at school. Anyways, I don't think your teachers even want them at school, but we'll just say no to this. We'll say no to putting these uh, treats that say they're fruit in, in your kids' lunches. And I, actually, they shouldn't even be in the snack aisle in the grocery store. They should be in the candy aisle because they're candy. That's what they are. This granola bar here, it's a chocolate granola bar. Kids love these chocolate granola bars. You may as well put a chocolate bar in your child's lunch. This again is a treat. This is not a snack for your child, this is a treat. This is a snack. This is an awesome snack for your child. If you put some hummus in there, um, ground up your chickpeas and make it yourself, super easy to make, they can dip that. Kids love to dip. This dipped in hummus, Awesome, awesome snack, not a treat. This is a snack. These little cookies, again, I know some kids like their sweets, but we can make muffins for them. We can make anything for them, banana muffins from home. These are, these are not um, snacks. These again, these are a treat. These little corn chips, they actually have flax seed in them and your kids will never know. They're super salty and crunchy and they're really great. Put these in there, they'll love them. These again, trail mix, awesome for your kid. This little baggie, have it in your car, have it at home, have a whole bunch of these set up so that you're, when your kids are making their lunches, they just pop that into their lunch. This is awesome. This is a protein shake. A lot of kids, like I was saying, they need snacks between their snacks. Protein shakes are something, it's just like some kids with diabetes, they need insulin. Your kids are gonna need that protein boost throughout the day because they can't do it without it. These are a perfect, it's vanilla, you can get chocolate, you can get strawberry, any shake, tell them it's a milkshake, but it is a protein shake. It is going to help them focus throughout their day. So those are just a few lunch ideas that I have um, for kids on the go, kids that are busy, kids that are um, just dropping in that blood sugar throughout the day, they need that boost. Really, really focusing on what you're putting into your child, fueling them properly so that they can function properly. That's what we want for our kids. Um, I'm so happy that you um, are here with me. This is my first video. Subscribe if you like it. Um, let me know what you're thinking about. I, as a behavior consultant, I work with so many families on so many behavioral challenges and so many behavioral issues. Please drop a line, tell me what you wanna talk about. Tell me how your kids are doing, how you're doing at parenting. It's not an easy gig, but we just, we're doing it, right? We're doing the best that we can with what we know. And a little extra help along the way is always a good thing. I'm here to support. 
Again, my name is Janice Joseph. I'm a behavior consultant and a parenting coach for Fresh Steps Behavior Consulting. I hope to see you here again. Thanks. Bye.